Hi everybody, I wanted to give you some video feedback so that you could get some details uh, as you move forward with this and um, by the time you finish watching all of this you should be able to have a real good understanding um, of web layout really and so uh, first I want to tell you what a great job you've done. A lot of you it's your first time building a site and you've really put the hours in and it shows. All right, so I'm going to jump right in. Uh, this particular one is laid out really well. Um, let me go back to the home page. I've, I've looked through some of these, but mostly I'm going to be going in as a first time user um, and giving you that immediate feedback. Okay, so very clean. I did notice this. Uh, you might want to remove that. Um, it's not essential. I thought something was on my screen. Um, so just consider if you want it to be um, a background that is seen throughout or if you want to remove it. Uh, interesting set of colors and the way you have your testimonials is interesting. We can go through if we choose and choice is always good. Okay, so the menu. We've got a few colors going on. We've got the lime green, uh, this blue, and this blue. So um, We'll see. We don't want to get too many colors, but this is working here. The size is really the only thing that I think really uh, you want to work on here. We have all this space, and that's fine, but we really want to be able to, to read this. Um, otherwise, it doesn't look... it's really a minor um, attraction for this page. Um, hmm. Let's see. Yeah, so I think size is the main thing. This is this is good. Uh, close all this space up, and let's have your um, footer throughout every page. So what you have on your home page, uh, put that in a footer, and it will show up everywhere. And let's see. So your locations, nice. I hadn't seen it done like this, and uh, it works very well. Maybe a little larger, but uh, it's doing well. And headings are good, easy to read. You're linked up. Those are easy to find, too. The contrast is good. And this is good. Okay, uh, Not a lot of scrolling. If we want, we can go to another page, and they're all laid out really well. So kudos there. And here we are. So uh, nicely laid out with equal spacing. That's good for the most part, equal. Um, in some cases, it's more important than others. Like this is equal, this is equal. This isn't quite equal, but I get the feeling it's um, unavoidable in some ways. But sometimes when it comes to images, we can't even be off that much, right? Try not to have the logo uh, clipped in any way. That's for everyone, for your thumbnails. You want to make sure that they're not cropped at all. Okay. And your contact is last. That's where it belongs. Okay. Uh, nice. Nice. Everything is there. Mm -hmm. All right. Good job, really good job with this. And I did go ahead and look at your mobile. No one is responsible for their mobile until they get to web design, but sometimes I take a glance at it. And if you want to be challenged, then I suggest you go ahead and uh, you know look at your layout in mobile and make any corrections uh, that you might need for in this situation. Maybe that border would go because it is clipping rather close. So, uh, but again, not required. Uh, left align your uh, space here. That happens sometimes in mobile. So it's just a matter of adjusting, but again, nobody is required to work on their mobile this month. Right? Nice work. Okay. This is a nice clean layout. Um, and this is, is easy enough to read. It's rather light, but, but the size is good. We need to uh, change this from the template location 
and you're hooked up there. So in a lot of ways, Cody, this is really nice. Do left align this. When there's more than two or three lines, then it does become more of a paragraph, and so we want it to be left aligned in that situation. The blue is really working. You do want to move your contact to the end. Okay. And not sure where your locations are. I'm not sure that that's uh, available to us yet. Make sure you update your images and you can cut this down. Of course, these, this is for everybody. You can edit this to where it's one line so you know it's aligned all the way across. Obviously, if you have a client, you're going to have to get approval for things like that, but you can cut this uh, description down a little bit. Be sure everything that you replace in here is uh, food truck oriented, so no interiors or glassware, or things like that. Left align this, it's just the right amount. Left align all of this. Not very uh, image heavy, but that's okay uh, for this particular style, I think. Ordinarily, you'd want to see more images. Do move the contact to the end. That's where it goes. Okay, so the location page. That's what you want. Um, well, okay, that's right. You have it here, but we, we need to put it in up here. And so you will add that um, as an anchor. So you will go here and you will add an anchor right here. Okay. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, um, go to your question mark and say how to add an anchor or ask how to add an anchor. Um, otherwise, you can contact me. But then when you select location, when it's up here, it will take you straight to there. So that's what you need. All right. Good work. Okay, we want to be real careful about the logo. I know it, this happens a lot with this logo, but you're going to want to need to leave plenty of room at the top for that. And let's see, make sure I'm looking at actual size. Good job linking up. This is a nice image. The purple sort of jumps away from some of the other colors. We've got a navy, a gold, the real deal taco blue, purple, and I would say the real deal taco blue here somewhat. We do need to have your extended locations that was that were provided. And this yellow is a little different from that one. I probably made them the same. Uh huh. And uh, probably can take this off. You want to get into your content as soon as you can. Make these larger. As I said, there's all this space, but you're using this much for the important content. So try and raise, uh, make that a little larger without increasing scrolling. Okay. okay. And you want your footer to have your copyright and so forth, so it'll be on. Uh, if you put all that in your footer, it'll be on every page at the bottom. Uh, contrast could be a little stronger here. Um, maybe in navy, the text, or I like the white with blue. It's just difficult to read. So uh, you want to think about that. It looks like it could come up another point, in which case if you needed to um, widen the column a little bit, you could. But you may not need to. We'll probably bring this strip down a little bit. Let's move, <clears throat> excuse me, let's move your contact to the right and split these up into two pages. And that will give you the opportunity to make this a um, little fleshed out, right, a little better and making sure that your headers are all the same. So if you're using this text here, and you've got a different one here, sometimes it's the template, but try and be consistent with your headers. Uh, this is easy to read, so maybe that's what you want to use throughout. Um, but let's put, move your contact form below your locations, and move, split those up and move that over here. Okay, and if you need to create an anchor, 
in order to do that because that's what's usually needed on a one page. You're not creating a separate page per se. You're just linking a button to a section on your one page. And so that requires linking a button to an anchor point. Okay? It's not hard to do. Um, let me know if you need help with it. But if you go into your Wix editor, there's a question mark in every menu and you can just ask how do I add an anchor, all right? All right, so other than that, you have everything. You won't really need this. If you can delete that, okay, nice work. Okay, and this is the reason I asked for the Get Feedback link. It doesn't last but two weeks. So if you're working with a client and you're communicating back and forth through the Get Feedback, because I can post comments, like this, use a sans uh, serif font for the uh, menu. Okay. I can do that, uh, and you can work that way with a client. You will work with me this way when you get to web design because I'll need to see your mobile. Okay, that will be something that you are required next year. Okay, so these will need to be linked up your socials to the Real Deal Taco site. Okay, a uh, little hard to read here. You might uh, think about ways you can increase that contrast. Okay, that image, uh, at first I thought it was a gallery image but a slider, but it isn't. It's a background, and it would need to be optimized so that it uh, comes up quicker, but you might want something uh, more in the oceanic kind of color uh, rather than this deep red, and um, that might work better for you. Always leave padding around any kind of content if it's in a box. You may not need a box. I don't know that you need one here, a circle, because there's nothing there. And that way, this image works. Um, I would change the red to the Real Deal Taco Blue. It's always, if you're not sure, it's always uh, safe to make your header and your footer the same color. And if you're using the um, client color, that's even safer. All right? And sometimes it's necessary to be safe. We only need one logo, so let's just have one. I think there is a white version if you want to keep the background blue, in which case I would use the Real Deal Taco Blue. But uh, just one time would be good. Okay, so the menu. Okay. I would probably reduce the logo so that you can make the header not quite so deep so that you can get into your content a little quicker. We're using all this space on every page and we don't need all of that for our navigation and logo. Okay. I'm not sure about this box. Yeah. We're not consistent with that, so let's take that box off. This is working, working nicely. Okay, we've gone to a lot of trouble with that. Um, not too bad, we got to be careful about glassware. Okay, good. So right there, uh, they're probably not going to get glass at a food truck. Okay, but we've used the Real Deal Taco Blue somewhat. Uh, and so for this banner on this particular template is always an issue. This border, if you can remove that, if it's in the background, you can remove the background, but um, either bring it down to where it covers, you know, down to here, or uh, reconsider it. I know I think it now comes to here. All right. Okay, okay good. I'll remove this because we need to get into your content, right? Rather than, than this. That's something that would go in your footer and wouldn't need to be very big. 
you're going to use something like this make sure everything is centered and you could reserve this for your contact page Again, the red is uh, kind of throws us off from um, the vibe that we're looking for. It's a little more all-American, which reminds me of the hamburger template instead. So uh, whether it's a taco color, you know, a warm yellow, um, or the blue or something, um, you'll want to think about that. Because without these logos, it's feeling a little more like the all-american hamburger truck okay just a couple of changes is, is going to have a big impact on this I would remove the um, effect that's on this text because it's um, you know, closing up shapes it's not working I think you can see that okay and for everybody again if you want to combine Monday and Wednesday and Tuesday and Thursday you can they're the same locations if you need that space but this isn't too much scrolling it's not bad you might be able to get this on one line uh, you could take real deal off if you're going to have your logo up here and uh, get into that make sure your font is the same throughout that is different. So use the same uh, paragraph font and header fonts throughout. Okay. So this is anchored somewhat. Uh, if you it will be a lot closer when you uh, bring this header up a little bit. The heading, rather, the banner up here. Okay. So a little bit of tweaking uh, needed still, but just a few sweeping changes is going to have a huge impact. All right. Great start. Okay. Uh, I do like a lot of uh, what is going on in this one. I think this is very clean. I, I don't mind the green. Um, it's consistent. Try not to have one word on the line. This could probably go just a point bigger, maybe. Uh, it's not too bad. But the real thing about this I do like this uh, the real thing about this is I think what you would like what you want to do is take this out of the footer so it's not in every page and just put it on you know, uh, one of your pages because in some cases it's uh, it's just repetitive you know it just doesn't need to be there um, and then you would bring this up, you know, raise that uh, by double clicking and grabbing the handle. Now, the other thing that uh, when I first visited, I know now, but when I first looked at it, I couldn't find the locations. I was saying, where are the locations? Because it was over here. Now, on the mobile, that's fine because, you know, it's right here. Uh, contact would still need to go at the end, but it's easy to spot. But when I was in your desktop, I was looking at the navigation over here and I couldn't find locations. So I would take this and put it here personally, um, just for that user experience. I, I like that it's by itself. Someone might say, oh, I can hurry and get that, but they don't know if in a desktop they don't need to look over there when they're uh, looking over here. So that's what I would do. I'd move this to the right, put find us in there. But I do like it. Um, you have a nice hierarchy and distinction there between your headers and your content. Okay. These colors are working okay. Uh, you might want a picture of food here. You can also, uh, let's see. 
Yeah, I feel like you just maybe another image or two, right? Uh, everyone should rename their files because when we roll over it, it's going to uh, give us a name. So this one isn't too bad, but you know, some of them are, are longer. All right. Okay, so not a lot to fix. Um, this image needed to drop back a lot more. Uh, even the solid color would be easier. And fishy has a strange connotation when it comes to food. Uh, fresh would be sort of the opposite. Um, when we're buying fish, we tend to describe older fish as being a little fishy smell. So um, you want to probably remove that. Okay, the fresh is good, tasty is good, and real maybe, but let's take fishy out. It's a minor thing, but it's easy to fix. And so I let you know. Sometimes I have students who will come up with names of their brand and so forth, and uh, they'll come up with words that have a negative content and aren't fully aware how it's coming across. So I like to point it out just in case. So yeah, this is a little conflicting, the boats. I like the idea of it, but it's not working visually, right? Okay, terrific job. Okay. Hard to read, but the idea of having this overlay is working very well. Uh, this may need to be just a little brighter, the text. This is working really well, this image, because it's uh, definitely not telling us anything about a restaurant. Got a good fresh green. Okay. And, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. You could probably even go larger here with your, with these. Uh, this happens a lot. Uh, frequently, this is overlooked. So that's template that you want to remove. Um, the way I remember the spelling of desserts is that um, do you want, do you need one desert, which is very large, or would you rather have two desserts? So think of two desserts as being two S's. Not that I really want two desserts, but you know what I'm saying. It's just the idea of desserts being good. So that would uh, add that S there. Uh, maybe, maybe a bold here. Uh, it is bigger, it is larger, and that's good. Okay. But this is terrific. I'm nitpicking in a way. Uh, we're not getting into the content as quickly but you are consistent with it and you've got good images here. Again, higher contrast there. It looks like a button, but it's really a section header. Okay, so yeah, you may want this a little larger if you have to combine them because keep in mind, this is the main reason for being on this page. That's the information they're looking for. Uh, they're going to be stalled when they want to click and nothing happens. Uh, so getting into this content right away is a, would be a good idea. Okay, you've made good choices in that regard. Uh, I don't think we need these because, um, you know, I know that they're template based, but there's really nothing here that talks about uh, the names of the people that, you know, Linda and Bob, or Brenda and Bob. So these aren't uh, showcased, so let's take all of that out, all right? Okay. I 
Okay, good. All right. Uh, I'm going to let this go because the main idea is probably the dog on the board, but usually we try not to cut off the head. So if you can uh, go in and recrop that, I think it will be better to be able to see the dog. Okay, nice. Good rollover color. Uh, blue would work too, but I do like the green. Okay, so that's the news, which is on a blog. Make sure you have things here. And the contact page. Okay. Um, okay. I... Just for consistency, I'd almost, this is kind of vibrant, but I'd, I'd like to, I wonder what it would be like if this was not aqua um, sea foam as much as the green, so it would kind of blend a little better. Okay, but otherwise, a terrific start. Um, you have everything that you are supposed to have. Okay. And then some. So, Let's take out that template, all right? All right. Great job, Gabby. Um, we only need one header, you know? We want to get into that quicker. And let's see. I do really like this image in the back. I'm wondering if instead of a purple, you could have either the uh, orange or the aqua uh, ruler uh, border around that. Mm -hmm. Even this color would work. Uh, this particular site does have a lot of scrolling, uh, this template. You probably could uh, easily remove some of it and probably take out a word or two here and so that we can uh, condense this footer or this uh, section a little bit and these are not linked up here okay this page i would do away with because you have it here and i would link those instead so you could take that out And again, if this is going to be on every page, it really needs to be half that size at the very least. This is a little wordy. People only skim when they're online. Probably close these up a little bit. So right now we have the navy blue of the template and a purple. Let's choose headers and navigation to be the same color. That will help you. And, uh, you know, if you want it to be the dark blue, I see you're going towards purple, um, which means you might want to go to Canva 100 and look for a template that has some blues and purples and then maybe go into this template's uh, color and customize that palette to where uh, you're using just a template that actually is made and designed for purple and blue. Um, if you need help with that, contact me. And I'll... If you go to the Canva 100 color palettes here and you scroll down, you go through the color wheels and so forth, but then you're going to have all of these options for color palettes. So if you are choosing a cool blue, then you would go through here, find one um, that works, and then, you know, you would go into your uh, palette on your Wix.com to your uh, site design. 
and customize. You've got color and text, so you're going to go to the colors, and this is the color of your palette. So when you changed something, um, you, you kept some of the other things the same. So if you were to go in here and then also, you know, look at these, you would be able to um, add those colors up here. You could change those, add your own colors. So if you made, uh, let's say you made that purple, then if we applied that, and I can choose that purple, Okay, now everywhere that this is used, this particular header is going to have that color. Okay, so now all of those are changed to the color that you applied from your palette or that you selected. All right, so I think we need maybe this to be a little uh, higher contrast when we're in our normal state here. This could be larger. Um, I'm clicking this, but it's not going anywhere. So that button uh, doesn't seem to be working on this version. If it's working in the published version, I'll check that, but I'll try not to have glassware. Okay. Or tableware. Okay. The background is a little fuzzy. Um, and it doesn't look intentional altogether. So probably you want to, uh, you can put an image there and just put an overlay where it's just not as bright, um, but still, you know, a little sharper. Um, a little higher contrast there. And uh, don't forget, you can make a rectangle that is a, um, a transparent box in between the background and the text if it helps. You have reduced this back and that's exactly right. Um, when we have parallax scrolling it can be uh, you know, complicated because they don't always match. And The reason is when the background is uh, a close-up then it will compete with anything else. If it is something that is uh, not a close-up, that drops back, then everything else can uh, be in front of it as it scrolls over it and make more sense. Okay, And it also uh, is very sharp, and that doesn't help it drop back. So the secret to a parallax scrolling is the image has to really fall back um, or have some uh, perspective that is quite dramatic in order for it not to compete with that image that is uh, on top of it, which has to be the most important. A little higher contrast there. If you're going to do this, um, I don't expect you to do it this time, but if you are in web design and you want to put social media um, frames there, uh, you would want to use a cell mockup, a cell phone mockup. All right, there's a little bit of scrolling here. Uh, and still a little difficult to read. Um, I'm reminding you, I have a Zoom. Okay, so you want to update the copyright uh, year and a little less scrolling. We need a contact page uh, link or section link here to anchor that and anchor right here uh, for your testimonials instead of uh, lower. A little hard to read, like I say, I'm not sure that we need this on another line. For example, that could come up here. Uh, we have all that space, all right? We don't really need this page. Uh, unless, okay, you could take the social media off and you could raise that here, uh, move all of it up and remove that title would be one way. 
This uh, probably works better in your footer. You find that that will work better when you uh, start looking at mobile. It will all be in the same vicinity for you. Okay, so you'll bring all that up and anchor about there. Um, this particular template's really difficult for this. You probably want to take out a couple of paragraphs there to reduce scrolling. You can again uh, crop that, uh, edit that down to one line, that item. Good, okay. So if this is also in your footer, uh, you can really reduce it, just the number down here. You're still going to need um, maybe a contact page. Uh, yeah, in your locations, you're going to need to fill in that strip. A lot of this template is difficult because of um, those strips and the parallax scrolling, which I'm not a huge fan of it, um, of parallax scrolling, because you really have to have the perfect uh, setup for it, which is fine when it's working, but when it isn't, it's, it's kind of a mess and in the way of what you could be doing. So um, otherwise, I, I think a few swift changes, and uh, you're gonna, it's going to be much easier for you to work with. Okay, all right. Okay, uh, let's left align this, make it a little bit bigger. Okay. All right. Uh, this is a good site. The only problem I had with this one is navigation. Okay, so make sure you go in and add that back. Maybe you have, no, I don't see a, a bar. Um, it's going to be here, but it's not there. Okay, so um, again, let's, okay. And I'm looking at that only because it allows me to see some things quickly in this case. Um, so yeah, I really like this site. You're going to need navigation um, and locations added to that. Okay, but otherwise uh, you've got a great start here and uh, it's nearly finished. Okay. Good job. Okay, I what I liked about this site was when the boats were really dropped back far enough to where um, it kind of looked like an old seaside menu where you would have something like this. The image is really dropped back. This font could be a little bit bigger. Um, it's a little bit small, so I would enlarge that. Um, the images are working. You've got them aligned on the right anyway. I like when they're aligned all together. But um, yeah, so there's some things that are really working. Now, this font isn't working. It's not really meant uh, to be all uppercase necessarily. It's not not great for that. So uh, maybe a little bit bigger and upper and lower case if you're going to use it. You've got upper and lower case here and then all caps here. We want to be consistent about that. You may have to split this up. Either way, context going to go last. Okay. Um, I know purple is a, is a favorite color for a lot of people. Um, same thing here. It's hard to read that font. And if you want to, this may need a little more dropping back for this. That competes a lot. Um, so this part of the, the image isn't quite working. It looks duplicated there. 
a good job. Okay, you want your footer, drag that down to the bottom for sure. You don't need this page, so I would take that out and just have your uh, social on your contact, which is going to be over there. Uh, this again is going to need something behind it to drop back a little more. Uh, you could even have another white overlay um, between the two images, uh, the image and the text. That is, you know, another 5% white, and that might make it easier to read. And still keep this, but just have that box behind it. Mm -hmm. Same there. This is a little out of place, this particular selection. Maybe the one with the blue bowl would work better. Um, maybe you don't, you know, I think you need a reference to tacos, but maybe not just slapped on. That's how it feels. I know you're um, laying it out and then this image is there, but uh, reconsider what image you would put there and what would work. Uh, with the colors and everything. And like I said, I love this image. I just think it needs to be uh, reduced again as far as opacity. Okay, very close, very close. You can take this out and just have it on your contact page. All right, nice. It's really getting there. Okay, so this one I think um, needed more time. Maybe you're resubmitting tonight, depending on your schedule, but um, this this is one of the, if not the, most difficult template. Uh, it's a food truck, yes, but it is, everything about it has to be modified, okay? Um, because it's for a hamburger truck. It's got purple and yellow, and those are some people's favorite color, but they are not the client's color, and that's the only thing we care about, okay, is the client's color. Let's update that to 2022. Let's remove this because, again, it's red and you would have to. I've seen students uh, adjust the color to blue. That can work. Uh, but, okay, and you've added this. This template is a lot of work. It really is. It takes a lot. This isn't working, right? So we need to take that white box off. Just put this in your header. Uh, which needs, yeah, put that in there. Yeah, so um, the contact always goes last. You'll be spending more time as far as the button, right? Because now it's, uh, you need to add locations, but that's going to go in here somewhere. Yeah, uh, I almost... I know you've put the time into this menu. I would spend just 10, 15 minutes updating all these colors and making the changes that I'm, I'm suggesting. Uh, and then if that didn't work quickly for you, honestly, for this particular one, I would start over, even if it were blank pages, it's going to be easier for you. There's just a couple of templates that are like that. Um, you know, pull that strip out. Take that out. Uh, that's placeholder. So you're still working with the template here, and that can be frustrating. So, you know, uh, I would give you permission to start, uh, save this one and start a new one. You'll always have this uh, and see if it doesn't move more quickly for you. Same template, it's going to have the same struggles. Okay, so these, uh, you didn't have time to enter that. Uh, you changed this uh, from a hamburger, but, you know, it's a lot of updating. And uh, the template down here needed to be updated. The logo needed to be entered, uh, all those things. So if you find uh, you did do this, and this takes time, I know. Um, and this is a better background. It's just the rest of it. So 
what you could do, what you could do is just work with this page and okay, this looks the same. Uh, just work with this page and delete this one. Delete this one. You're going to start over. Delete that. You're going to start over. You haven't entered it yet. Uh, you have that in your file. Delete that. It's still, you don't need it. They don't cater necessarily. They didn't ask for that, so don't do it. Uh, and you can create a new contact page, go into your plus sign and uh, uh, look for a contact form and it will give you something simpler. That's what I would do. I would delete everything but this page, Starter Appetizer, and change that name to Menu. Okay, And then uh, you will end up starting new pages. It won't be a scroll like this. But that's that's fine. All you have is this down here. So um, start with this, and then you will need to remove this section. Change this color to like blue, and bring that up to here after you take that strip out and uh, complete these. But that's what I would do. I would start with this, delete this. All right. Update the year, Natasha, and uh, enter all this content. Uh, again, a little more time. Uh, it takes several hours the first time to do this. So um, the background, everything is fine. Again, all of that needs to be entered. And this, if you want to make white boxes and enter that fine but we definitely have to enter it uh, if you can reshape that oval to more of a circle and uh, remove most of these and enter so uh, I would say five hours at least on this one still all right all right everybody um, really pleased I know it's not easy at first um, but it's not difficult. It just takes time. And so once you learn all those, uh, that menu literacy is all it is. Once you learn that, then you'll be flying. Okay, but do invest that initial time uh, and you will see the uh, results. All right. Okay, everybody. Good job. And um, make sure you implement these uh, updates and the feedback changes for week four. All right. And I think you will have learned a lot for, uh, from doing this to help you in creating your uh, professional site this, month, this week, okay? All right, good job, everybody.